Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, today is going to be a video response to my dear foul pal, Danielle. Now, Danielle is a moderator in the Facebook group called Foul Pals. I will leave all of that information in the description box below, Foul Pals. So, she wants to know what type of pot to use for her Phalaenopsis orchid. Now, this is something that most of the growers say, oh, what the <laughs> No, ma'am, this is the People's Channel. Orchids for dummies. Each one, teach one. Foul pals, honey. So we are going to talk about these pots, honey. We're going to talk about it. Stay tuned. Hey, foul pals. Now, according to Google, not according to me, but according to Google, it says, in general, if your orchid tends to dry out too often, use plastic pots, okay, rather than clay pots, and use a fine potting mix. If you tend to be a heavy waterer, like me, use clay pots with a coarse mix. The big differences between standard garden pots and those used for orchids are the number and size of drainage holes in the container, foul pals. So, I am going to make that make sense to you guys according to my knowledge. Now, remember, I am a new grower such as you, foul pals. So, um, if I say anything that you find to be incorrect, we have a foul pal now on this channel called Michael McCartney. Now, foul pals, if you don't know anything about YouTube, Trust and believe, darling. Michael McCartney, he is the YouTube Orchid Society, okay? So, I mean, this man is phenomenal. The only reason he does not have his own channel is because he is tremendously camera shy. So, foul pals, welcome him to our family in the comment box below. Also... If you are new to this channel, darling, most of the information on a video is not going to be in the video because the video is predominantly entertainment. If you really want to, to uh, answer to your question, remember, we have a Facebook group called Foul Pals where we have 24 hours of someone able to answer your question or to talk to you about it, okay, Foul Pals? Also, Michael McCartney, my auntie, um, Jack, I mean, uh, Jack Carolyn, um, my uncle Rick, we have so many experienced growers that's able to give you great information in the comment box below. Now, with that being said, when you purchase your Phalaenopsis orchid from the grocery store or from online, well, not online, but your local market, it normally comes in a pot like this. I told you guys in a previous video, to beware of this pot because it's the mark of the beast. Now, many of us get home and we start to see people with all kinds of different types of pots. Fancy pots, this type of pot, la la la. And the pot that our orchid came in comes in a pot like this. It's going to be a five inch clear plastic pot with holes on the bottom. Sometimes you will have a cone and sometimes you will not. The way that this is set up is to provide um, air circulation to the, um, to the roots of the Phalaenopsis orchid. However, many, believe, many orchid, orchid growers believe that because they put the sphagnum moss inside of the container, that it does not have the holes on the side of it because they want to retain that water um, until um, we purchase it at the store. So, when we get it home and we change into different types of media, that is exactly what Google is talking about. And I will leave that information in the description box, okay? But it's going to be dependent on your type of media. Now, this was the first pot that I purchased and that I planted my first orchid in because... Um, because I, this was the only thing that I was able to find that had holes at the bottom of it that was similar to this, Foul Pals, okay? So, I have an orchid that's potted in it now. I can't really give you any details. I just wanted to pot it in here now because 
Maybe I'm thinking it will keep extra humidity by this being plastic and not having so much ventilation on the sides. So, foul pals, stay tuned, and we're going to talk about what other types of pots, okay? Hey, foul pals. Now, this is my Catlia, my Catlia orchid right here. Now, I'm showing you this because this is a clay pot. Now, it's the difference between a regular clay pot and an orchid clay pot, foul pals. The pot that's going to be for a regular plant outdoors for your garden, like your pothos or something like that, it's not going to have the holes around it for that extra ventilation. It's also not going to have a huge drainage hole to make sure water is not sitting at the bottom of the pot. Now, a lot of you want to know, like my foul pal Danielle, is it okay to um, put your Phalaenopsis orchid or your orchids in general inside of a clay pot. Well, foul pals, according to Google, potting material dries faster in clay pots. While this can help keep orchid roots appropriately dry, it can also lead to over drying. Orchids planted in clay pots should be closely monitor um, monitored as they need to be watered more frequently. Root attachment is another problem with clay pots. Now, foul pals, that was something that I thought of when I first started growing my um, orchids because my Uncle Rick L, he grows his in clay pots and he also grows it in whatever he can find, such as a brick. If you don't know my Uncle Rick L, check out his channel, Rick L Orchids. Tell him your foul pal Darrell sent you. Now, foul pals, with that being said, he grows his orchids outside, and he also waters his orchids very frequently. That's why his orchids are so strong and healthy, because he's able to give them that extra nutrients. Now, this Catlia orchid, um, correct me if I'm wrong, foul pals, now she is potted in a coarse mix. Okay, I don't want to mess with her, okay, because that's her roots. But up under this layer of moss is a coarse mix of um, potting media for this Catlia. And I water her more frequently. That's why she has all of this mold growing around. Okay, foul pals? So stay tuned, and we're going to talk about a different pot, okay? Now, foul pals, don't leave me hanging now. Get in the comment box below and let me know some of the pots that you have gone through or thought about planting your orchid in. My Auntie Carolyn, now she is the potting queen, honey. She can make an orchid pot out of anything, baby. I'm trying to tell you. She can make an orchid pot like none other. Now, um, I, back in the day, I used to watch this channel called The Orchid Whisperer. She used to be good, honey. But, um... So, she had me wanting to do water culture. So, then you see people saying, well, you don't need media at all for your Phalaenopsis orchid. Now, um, um, now, Foul Pals, that's an ongoing debate. No one is right and no one is wrong. It's just how you do it. It's very technical to do water culture. And I promise you, Foul Pals, with your help, I am going to get there. Okay, darling? So... I went from doing water culture to just doing this, honey. I had some rock pebbles on the bottom with a little layer of moss and just trying to be cute, honey. I'm trying to tell you, if anybody can do a video on potting orchids, it's going to be from a beginner because, honey, I have all of this stuff still in my house. Now, um, also, when it pertains to that Catlia orchid, this was the pot that it came in. So, ta-da. Okay, now, this was the second pot that I purchased off of Amazon, and it's a cool pot. Um, however, this is just going to be good if you're planting it in moss. Now, if you, this is great for moss because it has so much ventilation. It really doesn't take long at all to dry fat pals, and that's what you want when you're growing an orchid in moss, okay? However... This right here is so flimsy. It's really flimsy, and most of us are putting our pots inside of a decorative pot. So once we get it out, we're having a hard time. So that's why I really did not like this pot too much. Also, it had that cone at the bottom, and 
It just wasn't good for me. Now, the reason for the season, honey, the reason for the season, we came about, honey, before we even get to the, look, look, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So, I mean, these Phalaenopsis orchids, you can really pot them in anything. It's just knowing what to do and how to do it. Now, look at my baby Minnie, my baby Minnie. Now, she is in this little pot right here. Now, the concern for my foul pal Danielle was that inside of the pot, that glaze. Now, this is chemicals that you don't really want on your roots. Foul pal Michael, could you please tell us a little bit more information about that? Okay, foul pals. So, as I said, the reason that we are all here today, because these incredible pots right here that I was able to find on Amazon. Now, these are going to be good for any type of potting media. However, if you're going to use um, moss, honey, in this, honey, you got to do it a real special way. You can't not have it compacted at all. I'm trying to tell you, it's very, you can grow moss in here, but it's a little bit more difficult than using a coarse blend or even using bark. These pots came in all different sizes. That's a whole different video on determining what size pot that you need for your orchids because you don't want to over pot it or under pot it, but that's a different video, Fab Pal, so you will have to stay tuned. So right here is going to be a seven inch pot at a six inch pot, at a five inch pot, and uh, honey, I mean, all the way down to um, a four or a three inch pot, foul pals. Give me one second, baby, give me one second. <sighs> so yeah, oh, orchids for dummies. <laughs> the people's channel, honey. But look, so. This is really cool. These in the handle, so you can handle your orchids with care. And this is the smallest pot that it came in, right here. Mm -hmm. So yes, foul pals, um, I know that some of us might be new to the game and we might be thinking that because um, other channels are talking about this and talking about that, that we have no right to ask a silly question. This is the channel, baby, where it is no such thing as a stupid question. Ask whatever you want because what you, what you don't know, someone else knows. And what you know, someone else might not know. So, Fab Pals, I believe in a saying called, each one, teach one. That's what it's all about. Now, this is a channel where it's very interactive. This isn't just a tutorial station or me just educating you guys. I'm, I'm making these videos so we can have hot topics. We could be talking about our phalaenopsis orchids and sometimes even talking about things around the world. So, I thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you all for my new subscribers. I thank you for the likes and the shares that I have received. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And stay tuned, darling. Until next. Until next. Until next time.